ఇండియన్ కౌన్సిల్ ఫర్ కల్చరల్ రిలేషన్స్ మణిపాల అకాడమీ ఆఫ్ హయ్యర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ మాహి మణిపాల మత్తు సావిత్రి బాయ్ ఫులే పుణె విశ్వవిద్యానిలయద సహయోగదొందిగా రచిసిరువ యూనివర్సలైజేషన్ ఆఫ్ ట్రెడిషనల్ ఇండియన్ నాలెడ్జ్ పోర్టల్ అను మణిపాలదల్లి అక్టోబర్ ఐదరందు లోకార్పణగొలిసలాయితు యుటిఐకెఎస్ పోర్టల్ అను ఐసిసిఆర్ అధ్యక్ష డాక్టర్ వినయ్ సహస్రబుద్దే ఉద్ఘాటించారు ఈ సందర్భదలి మాహే ప్రొఫెసర్ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ డాక్టర్ నారాయణ సభాహిత్ ఐసిసిఆర్ డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ కుమార్ తుహిన్ మత్తు ఇతర గణ్యరు ఉపస్థితరిద్దరు ఈ నూతన పోర్టల్ న సంక్షిప్త మాహితీని ఒళగొండ వీడియో క్లిప్ గణను ఐసిసిఆర్ న ఉప మహానిర్దేశక అభయ్ కుమార్ ప్రదర్శిస్తారు ఈ సందర్భదలి మాట్లాడిన డాక్టర్ వినయ్ సహస్రబుద్దే అవరు ఈ నూతన పోర్టల్ బోధన కలిక వ్యవస్థయ హొస డిజిటల్ అవతారగళలి ఉందాగిదె ఐసిసిఆర్ యా సాంస్థిక ధ్యేయొందిగే భారతవు తన హిందిన వర్తమాన మత్తు భవిష్యవను అనుభవిస్వ సద్భావనేను భారతద కల్పనేను ఒళగొండంతె భాషాంతరిసుదు భారతీయ హస్తప్రతిగళలి తత్వశాస్త్ర యోగ వ్యాకరణ భాషె తర్క చర్చె సాహిత్యదింద కలె మత్తు ఇన్నితర విషయగలను ఒళగొండిదే ఎందవరు హేలిదరు మాహే ప్రొఫెసర్ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ డాక్టర్ నారాయణ సభాహిత అవరు స్వాగతిసిదరు ఈ సందర్భదలి అవరు మణిపాల అకాడమీ ఆఫ్ హయ్యర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ వతియింద సాంప్రదాయిక జ్ఞాన సంస్కృతి మత్తు సంప్రదాయకి సంబంధిసిదంతె నడుసుతిరువ కార్యగల సంపూర్ణ వివరగలను నీడిదరు కార్యక్రమదలి రిజిస్టర్ డాక్టర్ గిరిదక్ని డిజిఐసిసిఆర్ కుమార్ తుహిన్ ఎంఈఎంజి విశేష యోజనగల సమూహగల అధ్యక్ష సోమనాథ్ దాస్ ఉపస్థితరిద్దరు dedicated to advancing the rich introduces you to the great fabric history of india how indian attire thank you sirs to all others india the seventh largest country in the world has all kinds of landscapes the geographical boundaries of india extend over mm. one of the most favorite activities that every indian loves since last week. needless to say he hadn't encountered chivake the fish and meat and also produces a mind blowing variety of fruits on which the mango holds strength this this wealth of biodiversity has shaped india's to make it a little bit clear i can cite tulu for example tulu people coastal region the tulu land tulu people tulu culture we consider it is a indigenous knowledge system so people the land then the culture any group of people native to any specific region they should be native so normally manipal and if i may see it uh, on the basis of my memory I believe Manipal is the first Indian institution which went places which went abroad and therefore uh, in a way Manipal created a history by opening campuses in several countries abroad 
therefore reaching out to the global community on the basis of the knowledge traditions in india it's something institutionalized in a symbolic way i would say by the manipal university and therefore all compliments to them and when we were wondering as to where should we do it pune university of course we have a very close relation they have partnered with us but pune people knew about iccr and these initiatives so we wanted to go to some new place and therefore we requested somnath ji and the other uh, members of the leadership team and they willingly accepted so let me at the outset thank and express my deep sense of gratitude towards the manipal academy of higher education utix <laughs> is one of the digital avatars of the new teaching learning systems that we are in evolving coming to the portal and what exactly it uh, aims at basically we need to know that the institutional mission of the indian council for cultural relations is to translate the goodwill that india enjoys into a real understanding of india its past present and future including the very idea of india and the objective behind this initiative is disseminating preliminary knowledge and evoke further curiosity motivate foreign based or foreign students to dwell deep into the ocean of indian knowledge systems and thirdly do away with uh, misperceptions about india which is not a less uh, severe challenge <coughs> the sea of evidences of our knowledge worship comes from estimates of the number of manuscripts available in indian libraries repositories or private collections they run into millions with the us scholar david pingree once reaching an educated guess of 30 million manuscripts that we have this figure is but a tiny fraction of the mass of production over the last 3 millenniums since numerous texts disappeared owing to either destruction or the vagaries of time neglect our absolence and we know how the library at nalanda was destroyed by the invaders a tiny fraction again of this figure has been published and a much tinier fraction friends translated into some other language we are therefore judging the mass of knowledge created in india by the tip of the tip of the proverbial iceberg and let me take you to what uh, tb macaulay i'm sure all of us are aware of him he declared that traditional indian knowledge consists of and i quote false history false astronomy false medicine in company of a false religion many indian academics and intellectuals sadly have implicitly or explicitly accepted that knowledge from the west is the real thing ever friends here we are we want to have that reintegration it is nobody's case that india was always uh, glorious and it is nobody's attempt to in a way glorify the past but what was glorious was glorious and today we need to match the glory of the past to the challenges of the present if we have to move into the future to that end this portal will create curiosity and motivate especially foreign students and foreigners as well and unfortunately like non resident indians there are some non indian residents as well in our country so all of them to go deeper into the knowledge traditional knowledge that this very land has generated for millennia together i am sure having launched it at this uh, kind of a very sacred land udupi is a sacred place and mani mahe places significant emphasis on creating a harmonious blend of global and indian knowledge traditions by staying connected with its roots and reaching out to the world at the same time allow me to highlight some of our key initiatives in this regard The Regional Research Centre for Folk Performing Arts (RRC) Udupi is a cultural unit of the Mahi, 
Since 1983, it has been achieving folk performance arts, rituals, folk games, and other cultural practices through documentation, preservation, and dissemination. Yakshagana Kendra Odupi was established in 1971 with a view to promote this extraordinary folk theater of the region. It's a center imparting professional training in the art of Yakshagana dance and music of young to young learners in a traditional Gurukula system. Dwaita Philosophy Resource Center, which started in 2010, first one was one of was the first one to develop a digital concordance of three critical editions of Mahabharat with search engines. It uses Sanskrit computational linguistics tools to examine the epic text. Presently, it's available on separate Mahi Mahabharat website and is considered as gold data on Mahabharat. Center for Intellect Intercultural Studies and Dialogue has undertaken a distinctive initiative called Discerning India, Living Cultures of Tulunadu, with the objective of preserving and sharing indigenous knowledge. This project includes an online certificate course on the living cultures of the region. It regularly organizes summer and winter schools for international students as well. Manipal Institution of Manipal Institute of Communication hosts Community Radio, Radio Manipal, which broadcasts in regional languages such as Kannada, Tulu, and Konkani about health, well-being, and cultural practices of this region. KK Hebar Gallery and Art Center, housed within Manipal Center for Humanities, presents illustrious artists. Perfect, but. Though they do not know how to write or how to read, they have been able to express their feelings, able to express their thoughts. Alochanagalu, which are a good one, the health of it, our local district, world view, what the health of it, through a dance, through a ritual theatre, through a performance, through Kamala, through Pop Fight, they have been talking about our society. They have not written our uh, black and white. But they have been sharing their thoughts. Now the vichara and the hetaganadana, our vichara gadana, the maharadana gadana mulaka, punita gadana mulaka, sahitya gadana mulaka, hanjita bandi dare, because they are they are expert in their particular field. I hope you have understood that. People, then the language. They speak a language. Tulu, for example, they speak a language. Language Tulu. There's a lot of literature. What we call pardana gadu, kavita, work songs. Or lepids, which I may refer in a short little uh, while from now, and then the land. The people of a particular place of Tulu Nadu, they speak about their land, they speak about their culture, and they have their own medium of expression. In the, in the, in the wider sense of the term, even a dance is a, is a, is a language. We see, of course, it consists of I mean, costumes verbal expressions, but it is a media, it is a medium for them. Through dance, they say something. To a position cult, they convey something. Something is very important here. Something is not a, uh, I'm, I'm using the, 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 uh, the world view what I have uh, said. Actually, that is IKS, Indian Knowledge System. Jnanam, Vijnanam, Darshanam. Jnanam means knowledge, Vijnanam science and Darshanam is philosophy. So, if we, we cannot separate these three, when we integrate these three, when we connect these three, that is Indian knowledge system. So, uh, we know nowadays Indian knowledge system is a focal of interest, not only in India, in West also. So, so far we have preserved our culture, our knowledge in various sort of various sort of knowledge forms means in secondary sources or our practices or our constructed knowledge through various sorts of sources. But the knowledge 
through the original sources and the upgradation of the knowledge with the practice are not happening. So we have a huge gap between the knowledge and practice. So now we have to bridge the gap between knowledge and practice. So there is the role of Sanskrit. See, without Sanskrit, no culture in India. So 